Hello everybody, welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a mid-September reading for the sign of Pisces. That being said, what we're looking here for is the energy. So I'm going to use two different decks over here for your partner's energy, and then I'm going to move along and do two other um, over here for you with your energy. I am going to conclude all of this with two different oracle decks. So one is going to be an angel oracle deck, and the other one are messages from spirit for your love life. That being said, if you do enjoy this channel, may it be your first time here or many times you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do thank you. Please let's not forget to click the like button also and um, if you do have any questions, you would like to come and meet us. Um, well, I have a live. I have a live every night at 9 Eastern Standard Time until midnight. So every night on YouTube from 9 till midnight, you can find us. I'm there. I'm answering questions. So please do come and see us. And please remember, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with every one of your beautiful souls. So here we go for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Please, Spirit, give me some messages. I need some messages on... Pisces, on Pisces energy, love energy. What is going on with our friend Pisces, part, Pisces partner? Here we go. Six cards are going to be coming out. Let's take a quick look. What do we have? We have the Knight of Swords. I also have the Three of Pentacles into a reverse position. I have the Seven Cups reverse. Five Pentacles. Ten up. Ten of Cups. And I have the Three of Cups in reverse. Right now, I can tell you, your partner, if you're wondering, does my partner love me? What are their intentions? How do they feel towards me? It's good. They love you. But I have to say, I feel as though there's um, there's a big questioning. There's a lack of seeing the possibilities of the future. There's a lack of cooperation. We're feeling kind of out into the cold. We might even be doubting if you are into a third party. These are the type of questions that they're wondering right now. Because of the Three of Cups. One too many people in here. May it be that you're already into, you know, your partner is already already thinking that you are with somebody else or that maybe you are already with somebody else. That being said, if this is not your case about the third party, it is possible. It's a general reading. But I do have to say, in either case, this is truly about being out into the cold, not feeling comfortable, not feeling, not feeling as loved. Yet, even though, the good news here is that even though we are feeling this way, we're feeling like no work is being put into it, well, my dear friend Pisces, your partner still wants to move on forward with you. Your partner still wants those beautiful endings. So if you still want this also, it's time to start moving together into the same direction. It's time to have your partner realize or maybe to be a little bit more clear with your partner about your intentions, about your thoughts, about your feelings, so that they're not being left out into the cold. Maybe do some more activities with your partner. Maybe they'll feel a little bit left out. Maybe they'll feel like there's a little bit more cooperation. Let's go and ask Spirit. Spirit, please do give me some more information on Pisces partner. Please give me some energy on Pisces partner. Please do so. I need some energy on Pisces partner. Here, we are taking out three cards. They love you. They love, they love what you bring to them. There's a friendship that is there. There's a friendship that's there. But again, we're feeling this is ultimately what we want. We want to keep the friendship. We want to keep the relationship. But we're afraid. This is what we're afraid of, the Ten of Cups in reverse. We're afraid that if this continues, we are not going to get that happy outcome. We're afraid, so we're kind of being a little bit distant. We're kind of looking onto the sides. Not really saying all that much, but knowing that something is definitely going wrong. 
Let's go and ask our angels. Angels, please do. Please give me, angels, some advice on Pisces. On Pisces partner, please, angels, give me some advice on Pisces partner. Please, please, angels, give me some advice. Just one word. Just one word is good for me. One word on Pisces partner. What is going on? What should Pisces partner be looking for? Pisces partner, what is that word, beautiful angels? Everything's going to happen in its very perfect timing. So, it seems as though it's not that you're not in time. It's not that you're too late. It's not that it's in a month. It's pretty much right now. This is the perfect time to communicate. This is the perfect time to assess the situation, to assess the feelings, to assess where you're going with this relationship. Let's go and see Spirit now. Spirit, Spirit, please do give me, give me some information. Let me know how. Pisces is feeling right now. Pisces. How is Pisces partner feeling? What is this energy? How is Pisces partner feeling right now? Please do let me know. Time. You're trying too hard. You need to give it just a little bit more time. That's it. Everything is going to happen in its very perfect timing. So let's not try too hard. Let's go with the flow. And this is what spirit is trying to say. If you go with the flow, the timing, that perfect timing is going to be coming up quite soon. I'm just going to remove this deck for a moment. I'm going to go and get um, your energies. So Pisces energies. Please spirit, give me that energy. Pisces energy, mid-September love. Please do give me that energy. Pisces, mid-September. Please give me those energies. What is going on for our Pisces? We have the Prince of Scepters. I have the Death. I have the Prince of Skull. I have the Eight of Grails. I have the Three of Scepters. And I also have the Hierophant. So, over here. Okay. kind of funny here that we should have the three of cups in both of these readings so either you're having a third party relationship or maybe you're kind of mirroring things just maybe your partner's thinking that you're having a third party and that you are thinking that there's a third party three of cups it doesn't lie we have it both we have it in both of these readings at the difference over here I see that we don't want to walk away we're not walking away we're not we have it in the reverse we're not walking away it's not what we want but we're fearing we're fearing an ending we're fearing that death that coldness we're fearing that temptation we don't want it we're thinking that you're leaving And we're sad by this. We're trying to control our emotions. We're trying to figure out what we should do, what should be our next step, but we're lost. This is about you being lost into this situation. Being at loss of words, being at loss of emotions, just trying to find your way into the unknown. Please, Spirit, Spirit, please do give me, give me some more. Give me some clarity. Give me some clarity on Pisces love. Please give me some clarity on Pisces love. We need to know what is going on with Pisces love. Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Five of Swords. Ultimately, as much as you want to take a stand, you're lacking. You're lacking love also. You're feeling kind of out in the cold also. You are really feeling the exact same thing. You are living what you are living now. When you're wondering, what is my partner thinking? How does my partner feel? The exact same way that you're feeling. Identical. And that doesn't happen all that often. That being said, I feel like at the very ending of it all, it's even the same thing. Here, we're kind of staying distant. The partner is staying a little bit distant. Doesn't want to lose you. You, you're not really all that much approaching, but you're not really distancing yourself. You're just thinking into your mind that the outcome is most likely going to be a negative one, but you don't want that happening. But you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do in order to, um, to avoid this. 
So you're both, both parties, fear an ending. Why? Because both parties love each other. But again, both parties think that there's somebody else. Angels, please do give me, give me that one keyword, that one keyword for Pisces. Please, angels, give me that one keyword that Pisces near, need to hear. What is that one keyword? You need to be getting some more information. You need to be getting some more clarity. How do you do that? You need to contact. You need to speak. You need to sit down at a good moment. Not any moment. Good moment. Let's pick it. Let's sit down. Let's talk. If we can't talk, let's do it another way. Let's write a letter. Let's write an email, um, a, a video. Let's just do it in a different way, a way that is suitable for both parties in order to get that information. Let's go see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, please do give me some information. Please do let me know what is going on, Spirit, with Pisces. What is going on with Pisces love? Please, Spirit, do let me know what is going on with Pisces love. What is going on with Pisces love? What does Pisces need to know? That the past, the past is now behind you. You need to release it. You need to embrace the new possibilities that are going to be offered into your existing relationship. A new path is going to be available to you, but what you need to do is you need to follow it, but you need to follow it with beautiful faith. So this is what Spirit is saying you have to do. My dear friend Pisces, this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it resonated. Please remember, it is a general reading. If ever you do have any questions on your personal relationship, you can join me tonight at 9 Eastern Standard Time. So from 9 until midnight, we're here for three hours straight and we answer questions. So please do come in, join us. And um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button, click that like button. I thank you for being there. Much love, much hope, many hugs. Mm, stay strong. Many blessings sent out to you. See you a little bit later on.